Hello, it's Monday again, I'm back. So basically, through most of last week, you were entering the competition by voting for which film that you would like reviewed, and you chose Colossal. And here it is, just for you. You don't remember anything last night, huh? I got really melodramatic, didn't I? You told me that you weren't really on a vacation. That you've been looking for a job for a year, and your boyfriend didn't work out. You are out of control. What? I've packed two things, they're in the bedroom. What? And since you didn't have any money, you decided to move back here. Is there anything else? I don't remember anything. So I'm here at the Odeon Liverpool, and I've just got out of Colossal. I'm going to be very quick. There's not really too much to say about this film, except that the cinema wasn't very packed. I don't think many people have been aware of this film for some reason, but it's actually, there's like, there was 10 people in there, including myself. There wasn't many people in there. It starts off on some really, really, really good humorous notes, and it's the, it, there was never a point where you're like thinking, oh, this is... Blah. From the very beginning, it has these really, really great character developments. I mean, Anne Hathaway's character was really... You really felt for her. You, you felt that she was kind of like... She was, she, she, she was quite troubled. When you watch the trailer, you're sort of like thinking, OK, this is going to be like a kind of like um, a mix of genres, maybe a bit of sci-fi, a bit of comedy, but then as it approaches the middle, it gets to the middle, and for about, I suppose from the middle of Act 2 to about, for the rest of the third act, it all becomes very dark, it, unexpectedly, and I think that's, and that becomes interesting, because what it does, it makes the whole film unpredictable. I think I've seen a lot of films at the cinema lately where everything has just been so predictable. I saw Alien Covenant, I found that really predictable. I think Colossal just wasn't predictable at all, and it was, it left you guessing through the whole film, and I think, it's very rare at the moment where films are doing that. When there were funny bits, there were funny bits, and as I say, the character development was just throughout it. The characters changed throughout. It was, it was interesting. I really liked it. It was it's like a really, it was like a massive mix of genres, and it, and it was just a really quirky mix of genres as well. I was just surprised there was only ten people in there. I don't think many people like knew about the film. I spoke to a couple of staff members who knew what it was, obviously, because they were selling tickets, but they didn't know much about it. And it's kind of, I think it's just this one's coming under the radar. But I would say if you're if you're looking for something that's kind of off the radar, then just go and see this one because it is interesting and it will keep you guessing all the way through. As I say, it starts off funny and warm with a bit of sci-fi, but as it reaches the middle, it goes down a very dark path. And I say, I saw a film doing that recently. Uh, I saw, uh, what's it, Passengers. Passengers done that as well. That started off a different way, then that got really dark in the middle as well. And it's, it's interesting where, the, where they, they sort of mix these sort of films up. It's, it's great that some films are doing this now. I think because of the way cinema is today and with audience having the ADHD attention span, I think you have to keep it interesting, you have to mix it up a bit to keep it interesting. So I think Alien Covenant failed in that area, but Colossal didn't. Go and see it because it probably won't be on for very long, especially with Pirates of the Caribbean coming out this week. So yeah, definitely go and see this one if you can. I feel terrible. Give him a good show. Oh my god, these people are looking at us. She's the monster. And all through this week, we're bringing you all things Pirates of the Caribbean. There's big posters behind the camera right now. You can't see them, okay. And on Friday, there'll be yet another start to another competition. Have a great week.